So we've just finished up um, a recharge test after yesterday's range test. Um, if you guys remember, the board died on me after uh, 24.6 miles, so we came to a dead stop. There was nothing left in that battery to give. It was going nowhere. So we know this board was it was, is at zero, was at zero. Um, so that charge has taken us um, just a little under three hours. Um, I believe Meepo uh, suggests that this could be recharged in 2.5 hours. Maybe they, maybe that was just a touch under. Um, they maybe they assume you're going to charge it from 20%. Um, the charger itself, I think, is sitting at about yeah. So it was sitting at about 36, 37 degrees during the charge cycle. It's cooling down now. So it's been a few minutes. Um, the board itself. 15 degrees is about roughly where it was all around. Obviously, I can't check the cells uh, right this moment. Um, so, at just under three hours, it's not too far off um, my bar map math. So, uh, the, the the capacity of the battery is supposed to be 726 watt hours. Uh, we were charging at, I, was, I would say, an average of 280 watts. So, if I sort of run my bar map math again, um, I got that in at about 2.6 hours. Um, so, yeah, not too, so a little over two and a half hours, which is not actually too far off what we've seen here. So we're about, I don't know, 20 minutes off uh, the, the sort of the best case scenario, which, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, now, what I would say to you um, is if you're riding this board, the charge the charge curve was more or less consistent. So we started at about, I don't know, 250 watts when it was the board was still cold. As we started ramping up, we reached about a peak of 320 watts. Um, that stayed consistent until the board got to, I would say, about 80%. I don't have a voltmeter on it, so I'm kind of um, guesstimating here. But it, as a rule of thumb, once you've hit about 80%, it's really not worth charging longer because the 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 wattage that the board will accept quickly ramps down so we went from 320 uh down to 170 to 120 then down to 70 and then 50 watts so that all happened within the space of about 30 minutes so if you imagine if you're on the road having a coffee or you guys want to get moving um it's that's just not a, not a decent amount of uh speed so just it just i wouldn't bother unless you unless you've got time to burn um at eighty percent, just just kill it, keep riding, and then do a, a splash and go um, at your next stop. So there we go, uh, a little under three hours from zero to one hundred percent on the Beepo Hurricane. Um, it's all looking good. Uh, just for you energy nerds like me, um, the we're sitting here idling at about two watts. So the other boards I have, I noticed that they sit there idling around fifteen to twenty watts. So if you're not if you've got a, a bunch of boards with all the, the PSU still plugged in, um, this one's not such a bad one, but some of the others I do have um, are basically burning the equivalent of running a few lights in your house. So, you know, in aggregate, that could start building up. Cool. Anyway, I hope that was useful. Cheers.